Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and show you guys another progress video update with the current uh, Caustic Arrow slash Toxic Rain character. Um, now, just to show you guys a few things that's happened, um, I have basically these gloves which give me more Chaos Res, but the biggest thing is I got really lucky and found two socket bubonic trails. Uh, I don't really have any overpowered Abyss Jewels. As you can see, it's literally just life and life and life and... I mean, that's literally it. I, nothing really here is overpowered, so... Uh, I also do have a 21 Toxic Rain, but it's only in a 4 link. And I have swapped over to using GMP now that I feel that my damage is high enough. So I've got GMP, Swift Affliction, Caustic Arrow, Vicious Projectiles, Damage on Full Life. And then I'm also using just a uh, Vol Grace as my Vol skill, along with Phase Run as our Mobility skill. And then I just have a simple Rally and Cry, and that's pretty much all the links. So I would show you guys it in a higher tier map. Unfortunately, the highest tier I have is tier 9. Um, my map RNG hasn't really been very well. I have one tier 10 map, but I don't know what I'm doing with my shaped atlas yet. So I don't really want to go ahead and do that right now. So here we go. We've got sea witches um, with... Yeah, so let's go. And I'll put on beyond onto this which is for chaos which i normally wouldn't do but i'm gonna put beyond on for you guys to show you that it can do damage to things that are not just sea witches so here we go i also don't know vault's layout so please don't hate me How does this work? You're supposed to like hit the levers, right? And then you go in here. Oh, it's a boss. These are old. Oh, Rise of the Phoenix. An orb of immense power. Now, I do want to state once again that even though I am, you know, level 89 running these maps, I do want to say that this is a SSF character, which is solo self-found in hardcore. It's not really my choice as to what tier of maps I'm showing you guys. It's kind of, you know, whatever the game decides to give me with RNG. So if I could show you on like some tier 13s and 14s, I would be more than happy to. But understand that there's also so much more damage you could get, right? You could get a level 21 Caustic Arrow in a 6 link. You could have quality gems. You could have, uh, you know, maybe a five link in terms of, uh, <laughs> in terms of your single target. Could roll damage on every single one of your jewels. Even though I have the, the two socket bubonic. Okay, let's not go there. Even though I have the two socket bubonics, uh, without like good jewels, they're still just all right. You know, I can't make the full use of them. Need a moment to catch my breath. Oh Ooh, a triple essence, nice. And with Vol Grace on, we should be Cap Dodge and Spell Dodge. Now remember, this is with a 4 link. Uh, that's not a 5 link. Just to go ahead and... Conf oh, hold on. Let me click these piles before people get really upset with me. Where are they? Okay, I think that's all of them. So, if you want to increase your damage more, there are a couple things that you can do. You can A, decide to use Vol Blight, and you could put a jewel in here for spreading rot, and I don't really know exactly what else. 
Um, you could also decide to use like a Wither Totem, um, or you can use the, the new support gem. I forgot what it's called. It's the one that allows you to apply Wither on hit. I personally don't really feel that's necessary. Um, so far, this has been working out totally fine for me, and I know as I go higher in the map tier, I've got a six link option available. I've got a five link option available, so, um, you know, that's good to go. I am going to actually try to get a Cloak of Defiance, and the reason why is... Since we now completed Uber Lab, we have access to Weave the Arcane, which gives us 25% increased max mana uh, and a bunch of other really good shit. The main thing is the maximum mana, the uh, reduced damage taken when you spend mana, and the chance to recover maximum mana whenever you use a skill. That's really cool because, say, I sit here and attack. Not like this. Whenever There we go. So you can see it. You can see it proccing there. Anytime I do a YouTube video showcase, it fucks up. Normally, this skill is, it basically refunds itself. Um, with Rallying Cry, you'll have some regen. With Trickster on kill effects, you'll, you'll have some regen too. But the main thing is, if you have like, say, a 2000 mana pool, it's going to heal double the amount of mana I have now. With Cloak of Defiance, uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop Blasphemy Temp Chains because I don't really need it. And I may even end up dropping Grace. I think we're like, maybe like 8000 evasion without Grace, 9000, so it's okay. Um, I guess it'll probably look better if I do it like this. Of course it procs two times in a row then. Come on, don't let me down, baby. Go, 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 go. So you can see, this is kind of what it's going to look like. Um, obviously, like I said, with the Cloak of Defiance, it'll like, be much more interesting. And then I could definitely see myself hitting over 8,000 effective life for sure. Um, just not even excluding like trying to roll mana on everything. So definitely really excited for that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much been the character as of right now. I don't really think I've changed anything. I did spec into Druidic Rite, since the maximum mana helps out really well with not just sustaining mana, but also for when we go Mind Over Matter, and the fact that it gives increased flash charges gained and flask effect duration. I decided to drop out of Fatal Toxins, because I just feel like my damage is totally fine. Um, and now we're going to go back into Fatal Toxins, and then if I do the Mind Over Matter swap, I'm probably going to grab Mana Flows as well, because the... Um, just mana flows is gonna go a pretty long way. Of course, it's not really necessary. I got a lot of testing to do, but that's pretty much about it. Um, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, I will see you guys all tomorrow, but don't forget that if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. I have a schedule and I stream pretty much at nine o'clock every day, uh, central. So have a wonderful time, everyone. I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone.